Since the glaciers melted, leaving behind the Drumlin Field that has now been partially drowned by rising seas, as well as a lot of islands that are comprised of bedrock, there's been many eras of human use of the Boston Harbor Islands. For more than a millennium, Native Americans were out here hunting and fishing and living and playing and utilizing many of the Harbor Islands shores, marshes, and uh, forests. Fast forward to the 1600s and the early colonists made Boston Harbor a very busy place. Of course, at that time, the harbor itself and the rivers were the highways. So Boston Harbor was extremely important for them as a source of resources. Most of the islands were used for timbering or agriculture. Sheep and other livestock were, were grazed out here and many of the early forests were cut down for fuel. Then as Boston became more populous and more active, the Harbor Islands became important for many of the things that were not seen as appropriate or desirable in the city itself, such as quarantine stations, immigration stations, hospitals, and prisons. At the same time, protection of the new American cities became important and the Boston Harbor Islands became critical for harbor defense. Still today, you can see remnants of many of the fortifications that were built from around 1800 through the middle 20th century. Now we're in the park era, where folks can come out and visit many islands by public ferries or private boats, camp, or take day tours. <laughs> 